Hello and welcome in Teach Max videos. Guys, already you learn structural analysis one subject, strength of material, engineering mechanics, where you analyze the structures, elastic by assuming, we assume the structures which are elastic, right? So, the elastic body or elastic structure when it is subjected to external loading, it deform linearly, right? So, we use principle of superposition, okay? So, we analyze indeterminate structures, right? So, here, <coughs> We assume the body or structure is perfectly elastic in this case and we analyze it, right? So, already you study might be a Castiglianos theorem which is used to uh, find out the uh, internal forces present in each member, okay? So, also there are methods, various methods that we can use for the analysis of indeterminate structures, right? So, practically as you know, the structures which are indeterminate, so we need to analyze it. It means, analysis means to determine the internal forces present in each member of the structure, right? So, that is analysis, means when external forces applied on the body or on the structure, that member definitely deform and it develops some resistance to carry the carry the external loading. So, that internal resistance we calculate in terms of forces, okay? So, it depends on the loading acting over the structure, over the member. So, generally, flexural members which are occur in the structure mainly, which are subjected to transverse load. So, we need to analyze that type of flexural members in both RCC structure as well as in steel structure. So, there are various methods for the analysis of these structural elements. So, elementary method, see we are doing elementary analysis, okay. So, element of any structure or member of any structure we considered means continuous beam, prop cantilever beam, fixed beam, okay, or you can go with the frames, rigid jointed frames, spin jointed frames, these are all the structural elements we can say in the structure, okay. So, we are using elementary methods for the analysis, okay? So, these element, there are different methods are available. So, already you know the strain energy method that is Castiglianos theorem that is applicable to analyze the structure. Also, that is based on energy concept, okay? Also, we can go with the displacement methods that is slope deflection method, stiffness method. These are displacement methods. When kinematic degree of indeterminacy of structure is less than static degree of indeterminacy of structure, then we go with the displacement methods, okay? So, that part also we study. Also, uh, if static degree of indeterminacy is greater than kinematic, uh, is less than kinematic degree of indeterminacy, then we go with the force methods for the analysis analysis of that structure. So, what are the force method? Flexibility method is there, right? Clapeyron's theorem is there, movement distribution method is there. So, all these methods are applicable in that case, okay? So, it depends on static and kinematic indeterminacy. So, so practically, so in, uh, if you go with the university syllabus of structural analysis, you will uh, come across the various methods which are asked. Uh, which are used to analysis of structure. So, practically, uh, when we analyze the structure, remember friends, it depends on the degree of static and kinematic indeterminacy of that element, we decide the method. So, you must know each and every method which is used for the analysis. So, there are various methods other than uh, our syllabus also, Kani's method is there, okay, that we can apply. So, this is, uh, so the we, out of these all methods, the important methods which are in our syllabus, which are the Castiglianos theorem, Clapeyron's theorem, right? So, we can use uh, the flexi slope deflection method, movement distribution method, flexibility method, stiffness method, okay? So, these are the methods which are used for the elementary analysis, okay? So, we are going to analyze these members, okay, these structures. So, in this session, I am going to start with the analysis of indeterminate structure by using slope deflection method, okay? So, here we are going to analyze beams, indeterminate beams as well as indeterminate rigid jointed frames, both non-sway and sway frames, okay? So, 
in this particular session in this lecture first of all we are going to develop slope deflection equation theory the procedure to analysis to analyze the slope uh, to use this method for the analysis of structure and then in next session definitely we are going to solve the examples based on Mm, for the beams as well as for the frames by using this method okay so let us start with the slope deflection method so what is it exactly so it is a, also called as a displacement method so remember friend other name is displacement method because it is totally based on the kinematic degree of indeterminacy so here unknowns are displacement okay so here this method is developed in 1914 by germany name of scientists in germany actually so this method is developed by him in 1914 okay it is displacement method fine <clears throat> and it is revised uh, this method is refined by mane okay in uh, <clears throat> next year only 1915 okay so this method is totally based on the unknown displacements so here displacement components are two one is rotation and second is translation so here particularly the rotation is considered as unknown at the support at the joints okay so here kinematic degree of indeterminacy is calculated first and based on that so we know what is kinematic degree of indeterminacy the number of unknown force number of unknown displacement components in the structure okay degree of freedom we say right so the very first step in the procedure if you go with the procedure of oh.